Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Game Nacho and welcome to Nacho's Reviews. This is the first review in the new series and we are starting with Anthem the Game. Anthem is a new game created by Bioware and published by EA bringing a new comp competitor to loot based games. Right. Now with the Let's VIP demo yeah, just go finishing go I thought I would do a review. Area, Even though the yeah. demo was called a demo, it felt more like a beta. We're going to ignore all the bugs on that, what happened, even though it left most people on this screen. Or this screen for most of the beta. And even some people couldn't even get into the, the, the dem demo. But we're going to see what will happen. These are all my opinions on the game itself, so you may disagree or agree. We will see. So we're going to start with the gameplay itself. Looking at the gameplay itself, the world looks amazing. I mean, it feels amazing to fly around. Just look at the scenery in that. It just looks so good. But um, I did hear that keyboard and mouse wasn't as smooth to play with as a controller. I'm not sure. I played on PlayStation 4, so I can't comment on that. But the movement was smooth. You could fly around going from fly to walking into gunplay and your abilities was was amazing it was a solid locked 30 frames on the original playstation i'm not sure i played on playstation pro i don't have one i didn't feel any frame drops some people said they felt some hitching in that i didn't feel that so the game felt smooth to me and there's a lot going on when you do that because there's abilities going off there's like ice and tanks and stuff flying everywhere there's monsters everywhere so i was quite impressed about the the locked frames if you don't even know what anthem is it's basically you play as Iron Man in his Hulkbuster, in his normal suit, with Doctor Strange at the side. You're all basically killing monsters for loot. I don't know much about the story itself, but it feels like a Destiny and Division mixed together with a bit of Warframe. Instead of gunplay, it's focused on your abilities. Like, your, your abilities are the main thing. And it keeps the game feeling fresh because the abilities are real quick. So, like, one of my abilities would have a cooldown of maybe two seconds, and then my other one had a cool ability of five seconds. So, use the two, use the five, I can use my two again, then I can use my five, I can try it. It was, it was smooth, so it felt interesting to keep doing. But even though with the, the, the smoothness and everything of flying in and doing these missions and that, there was one thing that stopped the game feeling as smooth as it could with the gameplay, and that's these loading screens. You'd fly into a cave, oh, loading screen. You'd fly back out of the cave, loading screen. And the missions call for you to fly into a cave, scan some item, and go back out again. It's unlike Destiny, where you'd like, if you needed to load, your character would freeze for a second and then you'd go in. And that feels like it's stuck in the game. That's not getting changed. That is a big downer. I'd rather be stuck like Destiny was for a few seconds, then walk into this cave. Because I'm not matchmaking, there's no one there. Now, because this is a loot ba based game, but it's not based on gun place, and you're not looting gun. You are looting guns, but the guns aren't as important as your abilities. So there are many abilities you can pick up in the game, so you can create certain loadouts with these abilities, because you can get these components, what specifically are for your javelin. Now, a javelin is basically your Iron Man suit, and there's, you can be a tank, you can be a elemental, you can be an interceptor, what's fast and fragile, and you can set certain loadouts, you get five loadouts for each, and that's a lot, you don't get any loadouts in Destiny, you just switch weapons out, but you get five loadouts, so you can set these characters up how you want to, I could set my tank up to be a tanky guy with a shield and just bash everything, or I could set him in to go as in, in as without his shield and with health and crowd control everything with these crowd control abilities but it's up to you how you use them that's the cool thing about this game you can go in make your ability you can focus your storm character the elemental guy on using lightning and fire or ice and fire and you can create combos combos is the sick thing about this game if they have something like an elemental effect on them and you do another elemental effect you combo you get a load of damage and you get your ultimate your ultimates are sick, they're better than Destiny's ultimates. The Colossus is like the BFG of Doom, so that's quite cool, it's like a nuke. But they need a bit of balancing here and there, some weapons are better and stronger than them, like the sniper rifle with explosive rounds shoots better than the, the BFG. So if you see the, the game already, it, it, it's similar to Destiny basically, you are playing Destiny and you just it's a different approach to Destiny, so rather than going in and going for your weapons, you're going in for these abilities. I would like to talk about the story of the game, but I don't know much about the story. There's small parts, cutscenes like this. You decide what happens in the story a lot. Like, there's uh, text choices. I don't know if that really affects it, and it always ends up the same. There's, I don't know if there's different endings and that, but it's refreshing to pick what you want to pick. And that hasn't, that hasn't been too much shown off, so... But for the good, what I enjoy about the game, there's also bad things. There's no PvP in the game. Now, a lot of people like PvP because they'll play the whole game, 
They'll grind their loot so they can be the strongest they can in PvP, but I don't mind this. I don't mind not having the strongest loot I can just to go fight people. I want to be the strongest I can in PvE. I want to take down that Titan character in five seconds because I've tanked out my, my special gun to do loads of damage or my tank to sponge everything while my teammate gets revived. I like that feeling. And I want a hard missions to be in the game because there's Grandmaster. Loot is hard to come by apparently. Like they're really good loot so you can grind for that and that, that's what I like about games. But some people aren't going to like the PvP. There's no PvP. One of the bigger issues is the menus are a mess. Like I just don't know where anything is, where everything is. With the menus you also have to always get back to the start or the load screen to change your loadout for some reason. So if you load into a mission and you've got the wrong gun on or the wrong ability by accident or even the wrong javelin, you have to exit the game, go back in and then it's just annoying. And with that you also can't get your loot. You have to wait till the mission's ended or you leave the mission to get your loot. And that's okay, but if you lag out you lose everything, all your XP, all your loot and it's just not worth it. So you spend 45 minutes finishing this mission and then you lag out at the end, you've just lost 45 minutes of play and it's worthless. So that needs to be changed. There needs to be a What's that guy off Destiny, the, the keeper guy who gets your stuff and your XP if you lag out? Overall, I really like the game. Will you like the game? I don't know. It's it's like Destiny. You need friends to play this game with. If you don't have anyone to play this game with, this game will not be very good for you. You need people to play the missions with. You can play everything on easy, but it's not going to be that fun. That is my Anthem review. It's been your boy Nacho. I hope you've enjoyed. Till next time. Peace.